Whether it's lost sales from not having product when customers need it, or increased costs from excess inventory leading to discounting and spoilage, how much are you losing from inaccurate demand forecasting? McKinsey and Company estimate a 10 to 20% improvement in forecasting accuracy leads to a 5% reduction in inventory costs and a 2 to 3% increase in revenues. But while demand forecasting is core to supply chain operations, forecasting strategies have lagged today's competitive landscape, fickle customer expectations, and macro volatility. Let's take, for example, a retailer with 4,000 stores, 40 distribution centers, and 50,000 items. Building item-level forecasts at the distribution center level requires 2 million forecast iterations. If we went to the store level, that number would jump to 200 million iterations. So where ideally you would run these forecasts per item, per store, per day, provisioning the resources to generate these many forecasts was cost prohibitive. Instead, you would aggregate to the item category level per region, per week, or even month. While this approach delivers forecasts in a timely manner, it comes at the cost of accuracy. And across industries, whether it was retailers and manufacturers estimating consumer demand, or hotel chains and hospitals predicting room and bed availability, this was the trade-off nearly every enterprise had to make due to three main technical limitations. First, legacy tools built on data warehouse architectures use serialized processes to calculate forecasts. If you just calculate promotion groups, not individual items, at a weekly level for 40 distribution centers, that is 40,000 iterations of a statistical model running every week. At a day, store, and item level, that's now 1.4 billion iterations of that forecasting model every week or 200 million iterations per day. Second, traditional forecasting tools are not built to bring in additional data like foot traffic and weather to further localize models. They have fairly rigid approaches, and custom tools require a lot of data engineering work to extract this data before integrating it into the model. And finally, in order to deliver forecasts in time for supply chain operations, legacy approaches based on data warehouse architectures had to trade granularity for timeliness. With a serialized methodology, you just can't deliver a large volume of iterations in a cost-effective and timely manner. Even 40,000 iterations within the service window meant running forecasts for only the critical categories once a week or once a month, and looking ahead at a longer time horizon, further degrading accuracy. As a result, product allocation happened in a manner ignoring product-to-store specific patterns we hope to capture. Introducing the Databricks Demand Forecasting Solution Accelerator. A deep dive into this accelerator is provided in the blog linked in the description below. While the accelerator is relevant for a range of industries, from healthcare to manufacturing to hospitality, the blog includes code built off publicly available data sets to work through these patterns on your own before attempting to apply them to your organization's forecasting challenges. This accelerator uses sales transaction history at the day, location, and item level to build the model that scales to provide granular forecasts down to the store and item level. And by parallelizing the process in the cloud, it gives you more accurate and granular forecasts much faster than traditional forecasting methods. Databricks customers have been able to go from regional to store and item level forecasting while cutting the amount of time required to run the forecasts by 50% or more. For example, consumer goods giant RB now runs forecasts twice as fast while serving 10 times more stores using Databricks. And when it comes to speed, it's not just in terms of running simulations faster, but also speed to market. With this solution accelerator, a single data scientist can stand up a POC in two weeks. These pre-built notebooks are based on best practices from similar methods in production. Your developers just work on plugging in your own data into the engine and then feeding it to the downstream business teams for reporting, analytics, and data science. What's important to note is that this accelerator does not replace your existing ERP, point of sales, inventory, CRM, supply chain management, or warehouse management systems and processes. Rather, we take those same systems and processes and make them much smarter by moving from hundreds of thousands to billions of iterations, increasing the level of detail and accuracy of demand forecast. The beauty of the approach in our demand forecasting solution accelerator is that we can leverage the same forecasting techniques as before, but scale it to get our work done in a timely manner without compromising on accuracy. 
That is, we are able to scale our iterations 100 or 1000x in a tenth of the time, generating more accurate forecasts faster than before. We have a highly performant architecture using Delta Lake to optimize the data for querying and the distributed power of Apache Spark to scale these jobs out. As you increase scale and granularity while moving faster to respond to real-time conditions at the local level, you can optimize profitability and capital allocation by stocking the right items your customers want when they want, without wasting space for items that need to be discounted or disposed. To stay up to date on our latest solution accelerators, visit our Solution Accelerator Hub.